Hey everyone, welcome back to more Beneath Aressa. I'm Disturbing Puppet. Today we're going to do another run, and we're going to start with one of the characters from the new faction, which is the Ruin Fairs. But before we do that, we've got to pick which kind of a run we want to do. So, uh, let's see. So I think this is... Yeah, this is for bosses, so get 15. Uh, not terrible. Upgrade two base cards, add two packages to your base deck. Uh, looks like it's just a junk card. Or... Gain the Sentient Shield Antiquorum, Foes, Cults, Reinforcements, gain uh, an extra Fury, so it's extra damage, and 10 HP per floor. Okay, so it's worse the higher up you go. Uh, not great for me, for sure. Uh, this is interesting to upgrade a couple cards. It's the base cards, though, not anything that's additional. Uh, I think we'll just go with the basic. Um, all advantages, no disadvantages. We'll just do that. So we're going to go over here in the Guild of Runefarers with Flynn. So Flynn has the same ammo mechanic that we saw with Sahoma. Um, so same kind of thing, except so she had a rapier slash. He has every round he gains some ammo. So even if I don't have any ammo cards available, I burn them to get something else. He's always going to load one ammo in, and it's usually some kind of special ammo as well, which is nice. So we're going to do that. Uh, who do we want for backup? I went... Uh, experiment with him a little bit, and what was a can who is mediocre. Um, Sahoma gets us Antiquorums, which is quite nice. The Mine Men Hours is quite good. Naride has some really good abilities. So, good cards. Healing for the family is good. Uh, healing for boss fights. Just lots of just generally good stuff. Um... I don't think anything here is really... Yeah, I don't want to take damage. That sucks. Um, yeah, this is all rage stuff. Doltar is not bad if you want to go for lots of elites. But he doesn't really help you with bosses. I think I'm actually going to go with Naride here. I went with um, Zakan last time. So I guess he's the last one of the Guild of Runefarers all in lock. I can have him as a backup, but I can't have him as a main yet. So we'll definitely do a run with him when he is unlocked. So we're going to go with Naride because she's got some decent abilities. When I went to Zakan, I didn't really take too many of his um, because the first couple cards I got from him were not that great. So I mainly just upgraded cards. Got pretty far. Got to the final boss. There were actually three of them. I killed two of them, then I died. All right, so uh, there has been an update since I last played this. So I think they've actually reduced the number of fights per level. Uh, I think they made a few other changes to some cards, balancing stuff, that kind of thing, but I think that was the one thing that really stood out. Alright, let's gain some energy and a card on the first round. Got a lot of blocking. Uh, Grim Duality is pretty interesting, so it gives me access to some cards. So, Control or Fall. I almost always go Control, so each round we either gain some passive block or some ammo. Um, and in this case... You either gain some Temporary Fury, so it's extra damage to your cards for that turn, or a Drain. And the Drains are just some additional cards he has. He's got, uh, it's hard to see, but he's got like a cybernetic arm under his cloak here. So we're going to go Control. So he's got his nice pistol out, but the other arm's a cybernetic arm. So we'll get Control going. Let's draw some stuff and see what we get. We've got an Experimental Slug. What are you guys doing? Okay. Maybe we want to kill you. Let's go Experimental Slug on you. We did actually get something. We got some free block, so sure, why not? Final word can get me something else. Hmm. Do I finish him off? Do we hurt the other guy? We can kill one. Yeah, we've got enough block for this guy, so if we kill this guy, we're fine. Um, let's go ahead and nuke you. We'll kill the guy who's actually going to attack me. Call it good. Yeah, you kind of see it sort of blocking there a little bit. Uh, yeah. So we've got a nice little quick attack. Let's see if I can draw anything interesting. We can't get something cool with this, one of the drain cards. Let me see if I can get it. There's eight to everybody. It's kind of my preferred one. No, we didn't get it. We did get a free attack, though. So we got some block and a free attack. Okay. 
This is the one I was looking for, the Drain Anger. It's free, why not? But yeah, we're just gonna go get it. Nice. Not a problem. So the Experimental Slug is pretty nice, especially when you upgrade it, you can guarantee that it will do something. Um, well prepared each round, gain an ammo, then gain two block for each missing ammo. It's all right. Bouncing hit, if you play another uh, attack, if this card is in your discard pile, return it. It gains 10 damage and fleeting. Uh, not a bad card, for sure. Just want to make sure we play it first. Let's go Bouncing Hit. Can burn through a lot of ammo if we have the actions to use it, though. Increase the starter card damage by 8 or get an exceptional card. Let's take an exceptional card. Uh, not any closer is not that great. At least I don't think so. Astute Mind is decent. Hmm. Yeah, none of these are like fantastic cards. Astute Mind, we can upgrade to get 18 block. The Well Prepared, we can get more block from. Not any closer. We kind of shoot all of our bullets off, which I'd done a run with before and didn't really like. I'm just going to go Astute Mind. I have some more block. If I'd known it was that selection of cards, I would have taken the extra damage on a base card. Alright, we'll get an injector. Uh, we'll take that one. Okay. So you get stronger when I attack you. This guy we probably want to kill. You've got nothing. Let's see if we can get. Well, we could just one shot you. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, explosive! That's always kind of fun. Um, I could kill a couple of you. Is that going to count as an attack on this guy? It might. I want to save this for the boss, down the road. Well, let's do this. Kill you, get all my ammo back. It's tempting to kill this guy with the five coming in, um, but blocking I think is going to be the better thing to do. Still going to take some damage. Alright. You can die. Let's see what we can get. Anything interesting? Timed fuse is interesting. Ground zero we can't use. And goodbye. So that's the advantage of the bouncing rounds there, coming back with the extra damage. It's going to work a lot better early on, later maybe not so great. So proximity protocol, if you don't have any attacks in your hand, draw one, so that can be kind of nice. So this is effective for the rest of the battle after shooting any far foe, gain five block. Uh, not terrible. I do like Blazing Show. I had this in the last run I did with him, so if uh, the cylinder is not empty after you shot, you just draw a card. So in this case, it's draw an attack. If you don't have one, this is just draw the next card. Um, both are pretty good, actually. What's the upgrade like? 15, 22, this one, 14, 20. So the Blazing Show actually can upgrade to a higher damage amount. Yeah, I'm going to take Blazing Show. We'll try to upgrade that at some point. We shall see. Alright. Uh, don't really want to lose any cards yet. Haven't really gotten many. We'll just pick an Antiquorum. Combat begins. Draw your next attack. It deals 5 extra damage until played. Each combat, the first foe you attack gains when destroyed. Gain 2 energy and 2 cards. I like that. I just have to be careful about who I attack first. 
Doesn't help you against a singular boss enemy, though. Alright, if we up uh, the companionship, we can get the wolf within, which is decent. We could upgrade a card. Don't need to heal. I would like to get to the each combat heal 5, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Start heading that way. That'll give me some options also to move around the battlefield a little bit. I don't really need the heal. I could maybe get rid of a basic attack or something. Let's just go for some upgrades. All right. So we can make this cost nothing, which is really good. And I do like upping the damage on this up to 20. That's quite nice as well. Let's get this to be free. I want to increase the damage. Let's go on. Hmm. Bouncing hit does get that nice big damage chunk anyway. But let's go Blazing Show to get that kind of on par. And then we get another Deep Shade. So reducing the cost of everything in hand. God, I have two injectors already. Um, yeah, I don't really need the injector. Let's just have a straight fight. So remember, whoever I attack first, when I kill them, I get the nice bonus. And you damage everybody else. We got 14 damage coming in. Let's see what I can get. Uh, I don't like that. I don't really like taking damage. It, your shields will block it if you have it. Die, die, die is quite good. Let's do that. Let's see if we get a card. We did. We'll get some free block. Should have done the bouncing hit already. I'm going to be out of ammo here, which sucks. Disappointing. Well, I can get damage in, but I'm not going to get the kill off. But we've got enough for blocking everything. If I played that differently, I could have killed that guy that turn with the bouncing round. Uh, we did reload automatically, which is nice. We got um, some free ammo from it. So I think... This isn't great, is it? Because I only have the one ammo. We can get non-attack cards with the ammo trick. I'd like to at least get one extra ammo. Let's put you down, which does give me some draw. Let's get control out. Again, I don't want to play this to draw anything, because most of my attacks do require ammo, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, but we can just armor up. And there's really nothing else I can do, so let's go. Alright, what are you doing? We hurt you, we take less damage. Alright, that's fine. Well, we can definitely do that. Let's get a couple smites right now, because why not? Let's see if we can get something interesting here. Uh, we'll take a free hit, sure. Give me something. Caltrops Dispenser kind of sucks. Morning shot. Yeah, just gonna do 13. I mean, it's better than nothing. We'll take a point. Okay, not drawing a lot of attacks here. Fluid shooting. Target's near gain five, otherwise gained one. We've got what kind of ammo? The blue is extra energy. So we'll do that. Let's draw something else. If we get anything cool, quick ejection. We can knock him back, but it's Going to use a round for only 8 damage. Uh, I mean, I guess we can. <laughs> uh, 
All right. So time for you to die. Not a problem. We'll just take him out. All right. Defensive position is okay. Locked and loaded is not bad. Let's upgrade on that. 28 and 1, 23. Uh, I don't like having to pay two cost for blocking, though. Next time you change zone this round, gain 16. That could be useful because we do have Merida as the backup, so we have access to those smites, which means we can move a bit more than we would otherwise. Um, the gunshots usually don't move when you shoot them. So potentially helpful. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I like any of these that great. Locked and loaded's decent, uh, just the upgrade kind of sucks. We'll take locked and loaded. I probably won't upgrade it ever, though. Alright, we want the companionship up so we can get that heal every fight. For the family's also a good card, so having companionship up even more would also be nice. So we can get for the family. If we can at least get to here, I'll be quite happy. And then we can just focus on cards. Yeah, give me for the family. And we're doing well. Let's go for an elite. Try to get an antiquorum. Okay, it's the trio here. Let's see what I can draw. Defensive tactic. It's not awful. Hmm. Okay, if we have exactly three ammo before we shoot, we gain energy. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know, is that worth it? At most, we're going to use two shots. We do have more energy here. So that would give me a total eight, whereas we can get one here anyway. Right, if I do this... Let's pick. We get block for killing any of them, doesn't really matter. How much damage is coming in at me? 27. Yeah, we'll just block what I can. Getting banged up a little bit. Alright, 18 coming in. We could go ahead and burn a deep shade. Time dilation, which is kind of fun. Not any closer is totally useless. Leak absorption. Then... Uh, give me the 12. So we want to kill this guy for the nice benefit. So how about... We go time dilation, draw different stuff, get some actions. Kill ya. Now we can start working on you. Uh, so we've got the energy, let's go with Gain a smite every round. Get a hit on you. I don't actually have any gadgets, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we'll just block a bit more, I guess. Alright. Let's get control up. I've got too many blocks, but you never know. I could use some more ammo here, but let's see what we got. If the cylinder is empty after the shot, gain an energy and a card. Interesting. Got a free round. I don't know that I want to use last round, really. Um, what's the purple? Gain five block. 
I mean, we can. So we do that, we kill you. I can give myself a round and a card. See if I can draw anything interesting that's free, like an attack. Um, hmm. You're not blocking. I'm actually going to go next round, some free block. And we'll just pump around in you. Okay, we've got two shots. We also are getting attacks that are regular combat attacks. So only these, like ranged ones, um, require ammo. The regular attacks, like melee attacks, don't actually require that. So that's quite nice. The smites don't as well. So we do have a mix. Uh, we could draw some extra stuff, see what we can get. Let's do at least one. Thirsty Barrel. Does take a couple actions. Not sure I'm a fan of that. Let's see what we can get for free. Next round, gain 10. All right, sure. Uh, we'll throw out the smite, because why not? The green is gain ammo. We're gonna kill you, it's just a matter of how I want to do it. Just do it that way. Alright, nice. Each elite or champion, so that's boss, combat, draw three cards and discard three. That's just the beginning. Uh, elemental Concentrator, gain one temporary fury after using a zero cost melee attack. We do actually have some. When a foe is destroyed, 10% chance to gain a random volatile injector. Uh, the injectors can be quite good. Some of them are not great. Uh, others are really good. Again, this doesn't really help me if there's more than one target. How many zero cost? I mean, I've got some. It's only zero cost attacks. And I do have some of them. So that might trigger maybe three times in a fight at the most, I would think. So it'd give me a little bit of damage maybe on three different rounds if I time it right. Uh, I'm going to try for the auto looter. I don't think I've actually taken that before. It's not great, though. So I would like to have this up just in case. We could remove a card. I think I'd rather upgrade cards and get other stuff, though. 50% chance to gain two energy when combat begins. That's way better. So even though it's a 50-50 shot, you can do a lot more on that first round of combat, potentially. And we get an upgrade. Okay, unfortunately, we only got kind of basic card upgrades. So evasion means I would move before taking the shot. Um, I think the regular attack is better. This is a lot of block, which eventually is going to be quite nice, but the two energy really sucks. I could upgrade it just for emergencies and for really second tier fights. Like once we get to the next zone or the third zone. I think, though, I'm just going to go with a regular attack upgrade, just to increase the damage output. Alright, we got another elite fight. Draw one or heal. Let's go ahead and heal. Alright. So, you die, you damage everybody else. Same here. Same with this guy. This guy heals other people and blows up when he dies. Okay. So, what can we do at the start? Well, let's draw some cards and see what we can get. Nothing fantastic. So if we get somebody down to 35, we can one-shot them. Got an increased damage. It's not quite enough for the Summer Execution to take you out. Uh, I could burn a Deep Shade. We do have two of those. I feel kind of bad about it. But if I just shoot him, summer execute him, I'm going to get two cards and two actions back anyway because of this. So let's just do that. Not much in the way of attacks, though. 
Uh, so 20 attack is coming in. I think I'm just going to do a bit of blocking. Okay, lots of attacks. This guy does less damage if we're in his zone. Say hello. We got Wait, everybody. It's free. Why not? Feels like a bit of a waste to use my last round to wipe this guy, but it does remove seven damage from the board. Uh, what's the green one again? Gain ammo. All right. Yeah, sure. Do that. And I could ammo trick, but I don't have anything that's free. Um, I could use one of the deep shades so I could at least get some block ready to go. Let's see if I can get something that gives me some good block. No. Uh, I mean, it's 13 damage. I've got two of these, so, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Shoot it right in my veins. Uh, blue is energy. I mean, it's tempting to get a hit on him as well. But I kind of want the ammo to come in, so I'm just going to let it go. Alright, so now you are going to give crap to me if you're attacked. Wonderful, how helpful. Okay, well, we can set this up to gain some smites. I don't know that I want to attack him at the moment much. I might get something here that would be an attack. I feel like, like we can only use this once per fight, so using it now feels like a bit of a waste. I'm going to draw something else. Pistol whip. That's 15. I mean, that's not awful. Sure. This doesn't use any ammo either, so yeah. Quick smack. Let's see if I get anything useful here. Next round block? Yeah, we'll take next round block. Sure. Alright, gonna hit me for 15. So we got the uh, Neural Assault. I want that gone because it does damage to me. Now, only if we play it. It does increase costs of stuff, which sort of sucks. Let's get control. Okay. Draw something. Poor fire. Does knock him back. Would have me draw on a gadget, but I don't really have any. You are attacking me for 15, which is not very nice. We're gonna hit you with that. Let's draw something. Can't use it. Alright, fine. Be that way. Well, I mean, the most damage is the poor fire. So we have the attack covered. I could even... So if we do this, I can get rid of that and then still be safe from the attack that's going to come at me. Alright. 15. The thing is, we do want to kind of kill him at range if I can. Um, or knock him back with an attack to kill him. Something to keep in mind. 15. That's the most damaging attack I have. 
throw that out there. Just lock everything. Okay. I feel like you're probably in trouble now, buddy. Because I can just draw all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, if I kill you at range... I'm looking to see if I have anything with evasion. If I do go in and hit him, like, this is close up, this is close up. Well that. Shoot you from distance. You blow up over there. We're fine. Combat begins. Gain 10 block. Uh, it helps for the first round, but that's it. Each time you begin a round alone in your zone, a random foe takes to weakness. Not terrible. Uh, when combat begins, draw an extra card. I do like that. Let's go with the extra card to draw. Just more options on that first round of combat. More energy on the first round of combat would also be nice. Yeah, I think we go ahead and get... Uh, let's go get the companionship up so we heal before boss fights. Then after that, I'm going to primarily focus on upgrading cards, I think. And let's draw even more cards on the first round. I haven't noticed any volatile injectors kicking off. Let's go Grim Duality, we'll go Control. Alright, what's the deal? You add Curse when you die. Yeah, they all add Curse. I can do a lot of damage this round, that's for sure. Slice Ceasefire lets me draw some other stuff. Locked and loaded. Lots of block. Well, like I could grab a couple zero cost attacks and then also have these two. Didn't really draw much in the way of attack, so I might want to thin out some of my blocking. Like my basic blocks, we can get rid of some of those probably. Well, let's just go with a couple smites right now. Did get another attack. Just beat you to death. And we kill one more, it looks like. Four attack coming my way. We'll take a lock that loaded. Another locked and loaded, why not? Alright, well you're kinda screwed here. Let's see what we draw. Yeah. So we did see poor fire before. What's the upgrades on this? 19 or up to 26 for one, that's not bad. I don't really care about the gadget draw, really. Uh, thirsty barrel, when a foe's destroyed, card Reduces its cost by one once per fight, and it can be upgraded to twenty or thirty. Uh, that's not terrible, actually. I feel like early on it's going to be useful because you're going to fight more lower health, like multiple unit fights. But later on, you're mostly fighting big individuals, or a big individual and maybe one weaker guy. I could see this being okay. But I kind of also like the upgraded poor fire, one for 26, with the ability to knock somebody back. So I'm actually going to take poor fire. In case we need to move people around, stay out of zones, that kind of thing. Move a non-base card? No. We'll choose a card. Storm Execution is pretty decent. Especially we can upgrade it 
so that if someone's at 42 health or less, we can pretty much just one-shot them. And on to the boss. The Horde. So the Flag Bearer gives bonuses. He's going to su summon a bunch more guys. There's more reinforcements coming. Um, so you're going to shoot. We want to be near people then, so that's fine. We can definitely do that. Let's just tear you apart for a bunch of cards. Let's see what I can draw. That gives me fury. That'll increase my damage if I want to go ahead and do that. I mean, we can kill the other guy, too. Which isn't the worst idea in the world. Just instantly wipe him out. Grim duality, get me control. Just tons and tons of card draw here, which is great. Alright, for you, buddy. I'm gonna go ammo belt. See if we get anything interesting. Nope, didn't get a card there. Doing more damage. I have everything blocked. This will let me draw something we could maybe do another attack with, but we could also just pump a bunch of rounds into you. And I kind of feel like that's probably the best option. Okay, you got two buddies. Uh, not really a big fan of these guys, especially. Sending precog. Draw an extra cards, get a quick shot. Okay. Let's see. What else can we get? Cryo grenade, not great. That. Finish you with the quick shot. Just try to block here is all, really, I think. Still has more reinforcements coming. Okay, so this guy's going to blow up in the zone, so we want to get out of this zone if at all possible, and yeah, we do have a way to do that. We could also just kill him. Um, looks like we've got some ways we could do that. The yellow ones are draw cards. Yeah, we could definitely just kill this guy. A variety of different ways. So I could do this, but we don't have the ammo for it. That's the issue. Um, let's see. Give me a couple spites. I don't remember if this will do damage to everybody else in the zone. So he might hurt his buddy, but I don't think so. You, yeah, you get stronger if I attack you. So, if I hit you, I want to kill you. Don't know that I can do that. We still have the deep shade, but I only have the two ammo. I draw something. Okay. Yeah, I'm in a deep shade here. Can I kill you? It sort of depends. If I can get another card here... Well, 
26 damage there certainly helps, that's for sure. So now I do not want to go into that zone, even though I do have a smite. Because he's going to blow up and do 20. We don't really want to face tank 20 damage if we can avoid it. Um, I only have the one shot left. Let's get rid of that. Get some block, draw a card. Again, I don't want to go attack anything, but this we can do from range. Throw some extra damage up. So I do have enough to block his attack. Just have the one shot, unfortunately. I mean, I could move in and kill him. We can shoot him and then run in and slash him. That's probably what I should do. Alright, fine. We'll just kill you. He still has reinforcements coming, though. I'm not sure if reinforcements come forever for him, or if it's um, a certain number come in to help this guy. And I can gain some ammo, so why not? Could take a shot at you. 13 damage isn't nothing. Yeah. Uh, we're good, I'm just gonna call it here. Two more guys. Yeah, reinforcements might come forever as long as this guy's still alive, I'm not sure. What did we get? 22 and 27. You get stronger when I hit other people. So I might want to try to kill you. If I can. Okay, we get some ammo this way. Discard? Sure, let's see what we got. So, let's take... Just damage focused. This will give me some ammo. Need actions now, unfortunately, it's kind of the problem. I do have 15, so we got most of this blocked. So if we kill one guy, we're fine. So how about do this, see if I get another No, didn't get anything. 50% chance there on getting something interesting. And if I'm gonna do anything else, we should probably focus on you. So, let's do that. Probably want to kill the banner bearer here as soon as I can. This round, maybe. Just one more. Yeah, he still has reinforcements coming. I think we do have to kill this guy. Unfortunately, I didn't draw a lot of great attacks, but we've got ammo tricks. If I can get some attacks out of it. Slouching gunfire. Okay, that's 16, so 35. I can just kill him. And get smacked a bunch in the process. But it's a boss fight, so it's the last fight of this area. I mean, I could use the other deep shade to get a tiny bit of block, but. Well, we could actually block quite a bit. Um, but it's the last fight of this round, so when we go to the next area, we're going to be at full health anyway. So I kind of feel like, eh, what's the point? I'll keep the injector for the next area. Yeah, so that's it. That's everybody here now. Okay. Purple gives me some block. Change zones, you get more attacks. This guy gives me block when he dies. You're kind of an easy target. 
Cobalt Roulette is interesting. Um, if we draw something, it gets a whole bunch of extra damage. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of something else. Got me Summary Execution, 47 damage. Tempting to kill you then, actually. Do that. Let's see what else we can get. Okay. Kill you off, get some free block. And we'll just work on you. Round. Don't have any block at the moment, though. Uh, we could block and then maybe get something we can use. Yeah. Just do a little bit extra damage. Now you die. Let's just execute. Bye-bye. Alright, not a problem. Each elite or champion combat, draw three, then discard three. Not terrible. Uh, increase hand size by one. Each time you play four cards in a turn, discard a random card. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like losing cards randomly, especially when you're trying to make plans about what to do. So, I guess I'll take this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the draw three, discard three thing, but it can help you a little bit on that first round. All right, so that was the first floor down. I definitely like, I really like this character because he does have the auto reload. I think that's really helpful. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it there, though, and we'll come back next time and we will finish the second floor. Then we'll break off and then come back for a third floor. So, yeah. Uh, more Beneath Arrested gameplay. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been a Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.